Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello there, Pisces. There is such a beautiful synchronicity in the cards and the stars for you this month. And it is such an exciting month. It's a month where divine wisdom and clarity arrives. It's a month about the balancing act where you're prioritizing responsibilities while continuing to take on new roles and open yourself up to new opportunities. It's a month of big announcements and big decisions, right? That leave you feeling free overall, right? And the July general forecast and even your Jupiter and Taurus and Venus and Leo readings definitely apply. So definitely check out those other readings that are linked here below for related but different and deeper insights as well. This month, the beginning of the month is about you celebrating and connecting with social groups related to maybe completing a milestone or launching projects for promotion on social media. And this full moon, this Capricorn full moon that kicks off the month is about sharing major public announcements related to career, creative artistry children, your love life, or your sexuality, or important social causes, where this month will be all about an opportunity to go forward with a sort of newfound confidence, right? Free from any issues or burdens you may have had in the past, where you're going to be enjoying the personal, professional, public, and monetary rewards of work you have done. And given that the North Node of Destiny is moving into your house of money, personal belongings, and investments, in this house of self-care and self-worth, this month really marks a big quantum leap for you in terms of financial increase that contributes to a sort of green light for welcoming in more play in your life, right, related to work-life balance and just not having life be all work and no play. And surrendering to this particular kind of balance that is being called for may be something that is difficult for you, right? Um, Especially as this sort of balance is being called for at the same time as you're experiencing an increase in responsibilities, but also new opportunities, right? That will also increase your responsibilities, right? And um, at the same time as you're also experiencing an increase in happiness and even a deepening commitment and a love relationship, right? And all of this perhaps making it hard for you to accept that you need to make space for just as much joy and play in your life as you do for work and your sort of responsibilities. And this is the balancing act for you this month. And it's very much about Saturn retrograde and your sign and the North Node and Aries coming in and staying until 2025. So this is something that you're going to continue to sort of be um, sort of confronted with, right? And both of these particular transits are testing you to um, accept your personal limitations, right? And the sort of impossibility of being everything to everyone or being, uh, you know, everywhere at once, right? And that is one reason why I sort of named your reading, right? Everything, everywhere, all at once, because there is such a big portal of opportunity, happiness, and fulfillment just open for you. And it has been for a very long time. And it's only going to continue, right? Increasing, especially as we have the North Node coming into your second house, like I mentioned, of money and uh, personal values and uh, personal belongings and self-worth and self-love and all of these things, right? And so with Saturn in your sign, while this is all happening, it's really, like I mentioned about this test, of you accepting personal limitations and the possibility of being everything to everyone and accepting, being able to accept every invitation or opportunity that comes your way. And so in that way, sort of forcing you to learn these these really big lessons about only committing to things that have meaning for you and that really align with your personal values versus um, just doing things for monetary gain.
And definitely this month is about you just really giving yourself divine permission to be present and happy in your life. And this is all reflected in the cards, right? For example, in terms of like potential conflicts of interest and also being mindful of, you know, like limitations, we literally have the Five of Wands card here in this deck that quite literally has the planet Saturn depicted in the background. We also begin your sort of tarot spread, right, with the overall energy being the Divine Wisdom card plus the Acceptance card. And when I pulled these cards, immediately I heard the Serenity Prayer um, in my head, right? And then we also got the Four of Wands reversed here, right? And so there's absolutely something here overarching, you know, again, just being re-emphasized between the cards and the stars about you accepting the things that you can't change and you sort of tapping into divine wisdom, your inner guidance, your intuition to, you know, have the courage to change the things that you can based on receiving the wisdom to know the difference, right? And that that definitely, definitely came through very clearly, right? And um, I'm getting that this is connected to a few different things here, right? It's about accepting yourself related to this sort of huge personal maturation that you've experienced and are continuing to experience based on all of these sort of opportunities and uh, accolades that you have sort of been receiving. It's also about accepting limitations with scheduling on the practical side, maybe accepting the need to delegate, but also about accepting something about the past and it contributing to a healing experience for you, right? Um, and then acceptance also being related to you even accepting and celebrating how much of a creative powerhouse you are and accepting your powers of influence, right? And so those are all of the sort of like key downloads that I got based on the cards, especially as it relates to this overall um, sort of message also thread through the astrology, right? And so, for example, we have the challenge being the Seven of Cups reverse, which is, of course, related to making choices. So this is about you making choices, vetting opportunities that can change the course of your future, especially given that we have the Vision Quest card in reverse as well as a spiritual lesson of the month. And it's about how you perhaps delegate certain responsibilities to others or have to say no to certain obligations or opportunities um, compared to others, right? And that is what this sort of five of wands is about, right? The five of wands can, can be about um, competing interests, right? It can be about making choices. It can be about conflicts of interest, right? And so with this four of swords reverse here, there's, and, and this two of pentacles reverse here in this spread, it's absolutely about you relinquishing maybe a big commitment that you had, um, that even meant a lot to you, right? Uh, that you were juggling with other responsibilities that has now presented a big conflict of interest for you related to things that are um, happening for you in your personal life that are creating a lot of joy and fulfillment here with this page of wands and the sun card, but also um, that also perhaps presented a big conflict of interest Um with another new opportunity that has been presented to you as well, right? And so I'm also getting that this five of wands here and this sort of theme of like um, competing interests or conflict of interest could absolutely be related to conflict given that we have um, Mars activity happening in your sixth through your seventh houses. Six houses are also quite literally about work-life balance and about your relationships with co-workers, co-worker dynamics, and just overall the ways that um, your daily routines, you know, work-life balance, and how all of that even contributes to your health, right? And so, um, again, 
related to this Mars Leo placement in this five of wands card here and this theme of like conflict or conflict of interest, I'm getting that um, this could be a month where you are maybe having a breakthrough, right? Related to expressing frustrations, finding solutions, um, or finding inner resolve, right? Related to anything that has to do with uh pets, children, your love life, family life, um, even your own sexuality or even a creative project, right? And uh, you having a sort of powerful emotional breakthrough, some heart healing um, that contributes to a sense of empowerment for you, that contributes positively to your creative expression, your boost in confidence and self-love. And your ability to sort of receive love, right? And experience greater harmony in relationships and in turn in your life overall, right? Again, this theme of like the balancing act and harmony um, is just really, really key for you. And I'm also getting that uh, the King of Cups reverse here in the Hierophant, there's something here as well about a sort of emotional breakthrough related to some sort of past experience of emotional distress and overwhelm, right? That has gifted you some sort of divine wisdom about what you can and can't control as well that is happening for you this month. Um, at the same time, as you are sort of confronting these sort of practical areas of your life where you know you have these limitations related to juggling all of these responsibilities and opportunities right and having this need to prioritize i'm getting a message that there is some sort of past experience that has gifted you divine wisdom that contributes to some sort of like emotional breakthrough or some sense of or that can lend to you feeling more empowered now at this particular moment in your life where you are faced with making such big decisions, right? And and needing to be empowered and needing to just have greater self-trust, right? Um, there could be something here about some sort of past experience with a leader, an employer, or even a romantic partner, right? Um, let me know down in the comments what this is about for you, right? But in general, I'm, I'm also getting that this overall spotlight on work-life balance and emotional healing is also critical for your health, right? And that this month you could, um, have some sort of health experience where it's important for you to heed the medical, um, or, or, or therapeutic or sort of spiritual expert advice that you receive from someone, right? But overall, right, the North Nodes switch signs on the same day as the new moon in Cancer this month. And related to this open yourself to possibility card that has showed up as your advice for the month, I'm getting that this sort of like mid-month new moon lunar node portal right it's going to really bring in some powerful changes for the pisces collective related to anything that you do related to music spirituality mental health or overall related to health i'm getting something really specific here about music artists right um but also powerful changes beginning related to just again, your independence, your sense of empowerment related to legal issues or making big decisions that will bring greater equity and harmony in your life, but also in terms of like your contracts and your relationships, right? And again, everything leading to this sort of overall balance in your life. And, and this is about July, but this is also going to bleed into August. And of course, it's going to it's really going to be a sort of main theme for you throughout the remainder of 2023 and even through to 2024, given that it's Jupiter and Taurus in addition to the North Node and Aries that are going to continue to be 
bringing you more opportunities and, and having you come up against these sort of uh, choice points, right? Where you have to uh, vet what it is that you devote your time, energy, and attention to um, what you may have to give up you know, in order for you to open yourself up to new and, and different kinds of possibilities and, and even better kinds of opportunities, right? And so that's really the main message that I have for you this month, Pisces. Everything is going to shift and there are going to be some new energies coming in, but this is going to be really key for you for this month of July, but also in August. So Definitely take a second right now to give this video a thumbs up. If you are watching on YouTube, give us a positive review. If you are listening in on the podcast, right? And definitely check out all of the links below and particularly the ways that you can continue to support the UA Light Celestial Insight channel and creative content. We're going to close out your reading with your angel number message that came through for you. All right. So the angel number message that came through for the Pisces Collective is the angel number 1155. So let's see what this says and how it magically aligns with the stars and the cards this month. So number 11 and the numbers 55 on their own are these sort of master numbers, right? Indicating these portals of change. Okay, the number one is about new beginnings, inner strength and tenacity. It's about attainment and success <laughs> and about how we create our realities with our thoughts, beliefs and actions and go forward, right, with courage into the new. And the number five is about major life changes. It's about spontaneity and making important life choices and decisions that in some ways enhance your personal freedom and that bring you important life lessons through experience. And number 1155 promotes the freedom to live your passions and life purpose and fully serve your soul mission. Angel number 1155 tells you to stick with your convictions. And for a second, going back to this vision quest card here, because I'm getting, I'm getting a message related to this about this fully serving your soul mission. With this vision quest card being in reverse here, I'm getting that as things are continuing to align for you and you're being faced with these sort of like choice points between different kinds of opportunities. I think you're beginning to see all of the ways that like your life is really coming full circle in a way where you have the opportunity to really just experience full circle happiness, but also where new opportunities and new paths are opening up for you that are continuing to illuminate how your soul mission and your purpose is even beyond what it is that you imagined, even as it is shaping out to be like so full and even so big, right? <laughs> um, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, it's like this, I'm, I'm getting like this, this vision of like a big tunnel where it's like, you've gotten to like the sort of long end of the tunnel where the light is and where you see everything come full circle and you're able to kind of like look out and see like all of these wonderful things, everything that you've accomplished, accolades, and, and you've kind of like reached this plateau. But now you're also starting to see that like, okay, this tunnel is veering off yielding to <laughs> the right right where now you're able to look and see that there's this other long path that you didn't even see there and that you hadn't even imagined right because as you have sort of reached the end of this particular sort of like tunnel <laughs> right of, of success and fulfillment and things coming full circle it's like there was just never this idea that like you could even find greater fulfillment and, and purpose than 
how fulfilled and how aligned you feel right now in this moment because it's like it, you've reached a particular point of like self actualization that just feels so fulfilling right now and it's like now you're at this sort of like choice point this sort of like top of the hill where you're able to see that there's even more to your journey of like self-actualization and fulfillment and obviously that is related that that's a sort of esoteric aspect of what is what you're experiencing related to just the practical material side of life where you're experiencing just a lot of different opportunities but it's like it's it's the practical aspect of like yes there are all of these different and new things to experience and to achieve. But it's also about this greater sort of like spiritual transformation and maturation that's happening too, where it's like, wow, I feel so super like fulfilled and accomplished right now. I never imagined that I could feel even more <laughs> fulfilled and self-actualize it's like coming to understand all of these aspects of like the multitude that is the pisces right i always think of the quote related to the sign of pisces that goes by you know like i contain multitudes and I mean, that is, that is quite literally what it means to be a Pisces, right? You contain multitudes. And I think you're getting to this point where you're like, okay, this is what it feels like to sort of reach these different points of actualization in relationship to all of these multitudes that I contain. <laughs> and I hope that this makes sense, right? But it's like, that's, that's quite literally what it is that I, I'm seeing, like, like psychically in in my third eye vision and the sort of message that is coming through related to this vision quest card and what um sort of came out in this angel message just now about fully serving your soul mission all right so let's get back to it so angel number 1155 tells you to stick with your convictions and do not allow others to deter or hinder you in any way once you have made your final choice or decision only you know your true heart's desires and soul calling. Listen to your own intuition and look to new directions and opportunities with an open mind and heart. All right. And again, the open yourself to possibility card is your card of advice for the month. Angel number 1155 is a message to you. Take charge of your own life, do things your own way, and make positive life changes to benefit yourself and those around you. Although you may fear the unknown, your angels ask that you trust that these changes will be to your long-term benefit and advantage. Stay positive and optimistic about these impending changes, and you will find that all will go smoothly. Angel number 1155 suggests that the timing is right to take on a new venture project and or direction a happy outcome and result follows your positive expectations all right and lastly this angel number suggests that you deserve some positive changes to take place in your life so have the courage to be true to yourself and live your passions and purpose incredible pisces incredible so i wish you all so much success and continued blessings definitely subscribe to the ua light celestial insight youtube and share this insight with someone you love and listen in to the podcast check out all of the remaining uh, messages here for you linked below and just take good care of yourselves